What's up, guys? It's Eli and friends. We're back with another movie review, and today we're with Sydney. So we just saw the movie Gretel and Hansel, based off of Hansel and Gretel, where two little kids are in the forest and they run into a house and there's a witch in there. And this movie has its own twist to it. You want to give your opinion about the movie first? <laughs> or you want to give me mine? Uh, why don't you go ahead and then I'll just kind of like bounce off this time. Cause last time I just told you to shut up. <laughs> oh, so the movie's kind of weird. Like, it shows you all the stuff that ha happens in the fairy tale Hansel and Gretel, but like some stuff in this movie is just kind of unexplained. You're just sitting there like, what? You really don't know how to feel about it. Just. Yeah, then I don't know. I don't know if in the story, like in the fairy tale, if they have an age difference. Are they are they twins, or is she always older than him? No, in the I'm pretty sure in the fairy tale they were twins. Oh uh, yeah, <clears throat> she's like 13 or so. He's like five. Yeah, that was actually a good point where they don't explain things. I think one of the things that they never explained was um, why Gretel has powers. Yeah, I didn't like. I still don't understand that one scene with the monster. When they woke up with a monster in their bed, beside their bed. Yeah. I kind of, I didn't know what that was about. Never elaborated on the huntsman. Like, who is he? What is he doing there? Oh, yeah, there was a huntsman. Yeah, was, the movie didn't explain it. There's a lot of not non-explaining stuff. And, like, the movie, you had to sit there and you're confused. And even if you try to think about it, it's not, like, really any answer to really give you to, like, logically conclude with it. So you just got to keep on watching. Like, okay. Yeah, so, like, two big issues I would have with the movie is, obviously, um, the shots that were, like, shaky they were cut really weird um you'd have them like doing one thing and they would suddenly jump to the next um the really close-up shots of them walking where yeah it was like it would show their face while they're walking so that was kind of weird mm -hmm. like it looked like they had to put in the gopro and it's just them walking like they, it's if you ever watch chronicle they film it kind of like it's a regular format for a movie but they film it like someone's uh filming it with a phone or something like it's just shaking it's kind of it's kind of weird at some points because it goes over to a regular film and then it just goes to that and you're just like but yeah it really throws you off and it's just showing their face while they're walking yeah and uh story was somewhat difficult to follow and i think it was just because of well first of all them not really explaining a whole lot of things and then the editing itself just mm -hmm. made it feel very choppy in my opinion um it didn't really feel like they were like keeping it consistent throughout the whole movie like i said they would be doing something and they would cut to something else which was completely random and not really necessary for the story what did you think about the acting uh, <laughs> acting in my opinion i know that with younger with younger kids it's not exactly easy because you know they're not trained actors they're not trained professionals but uh acting in my opinion yeah was not not that great i felt like they made hansel being so young a little bit too mature to yeah be he was like very very mature in this movie like this man was asking some life questions i'm like whoa what five-year-old says that like i don't know this this five-year-old seemed like he was a man that 60 years old that been through stuff like he knows everything i'm like uh that's not how five-year-olds act at all like he was mentoring his sister that's how it felt like yeah yeah so that was kind of they don't explain the whole pig thing either where they're like snort at each other yeah it's... one of the good things i would say about the movie is that um aside from like the inconsistencies uh with the editing and the acting and everything um there were some shots in it that were pretty in my opinion they were just beautiful uh there was one at the beginning when they took the baby to the witch mm -hmm. i thought that that was just a really beautiful shot but at the same time very odd yeah they had some pretty odd, like, <clears throat> for something that was set in, like, a really old period, um, they had some modern architecture, too. That was yeah, I was wondering weird. that at the very beginning, too. <laughs> like, what time does this take place? So, yeah, that was kind of weird. I did kind of like the twist at the end, though. That was a little... Uh, yeah, um... Like, it sits it up at the very beginning, then there's a twist at the end that connects the beginning of the movie to the end. You're like, okay, okay, there's that, so... Yeah. The movie was just, in my opinion, okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's not a bad movie by any means. It's just n n not a great movie. It's okay. Yeah. Like, it's not a movie I'll probably sit back and watch again or anything like that. And I don't think I would necessarily... Recommend someone to... Yeah, I don't think I would recommend somebody to go... I wouldn't be like, oh, man, you really need to see this movie. It's life-changing. Yeah. Um, 
in my opinion. Yeah, man, if you're like a big Hansel and Gretel fan and you watch everything Hansel and Gretel, I guess watch it, but if not, hey, it's a movie you can skip, just watch Bad Boys or wait till uh, Birds of the Prey or just save your money and stay home, bro, yeah. and watch another one of my videos. I got like 125 down there. <laughs> watch our Days of the Dead kind of vlog. Shameless promo. Shameless promo. <laughs> Anything else to say? Uh, not really. Yeah. Peace out. And if you've seen the movie, tell us what you think below. <laughs>